There are so many aspects of sacred sexuality where the man is healing the woman and unlocking her heart and unlocking a deeper expression of love and, and spiritual expansion uh, and consciousness through the art of lovemaking. And we cannot do it without men. And we cannot do it without a man's actually, a man's dark desire for us, which is also something that is taboo and that we try to make naughty and dirty and um, that we both carry shame about, men and women. Let's talk about that. Yeah. I have a feeling that's something that men need to men need to hear more about and this, this is a conversation men and women we all need to be having more honest conversations about sexuality and sexual experiences you know, I've, when i first got into relationship with my wife it was the first time that i ever had a conversation with a partner about my own sexual insecurities it was terrifying it, I, everything in my body said what the hell are you thinking don't do that and it opens up such a before we ever even had sex Right before we ever even had sex, we got to have those conversations. And I was 25 years old. I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. Actually, it was a buddy of mine who encouraged me to have that conversation. It's like, well, why don't you, when you're getting into this, this relationship with a woman you really care about, why not tell her about those things instead of trying to mask them? You know, talk about your fear of premature ejaculation. Talk about all of those things and see what she has to say. What do you got to lose? I was like, well, really not much i guess how brave of you and look at what the result was you yeah. know yeah yeah so so anyway without going into my story too much i want to hear more about your uh understanding you, you talked about men's dark desire for women tell, tell me more about that first yeah so you know there's this there's there's a lot of we're we're all sexually traumatized whether we have been violated by another person or not the way that our society that we came up in educates us, shames us, um, puts us into a narrative that sexuality is about there being a taker and a giver and someone loses something and someone's got to prove something and it's a game and we're objects and um, you know the slew of other negative programs that we have around sex, our bodies, our desires, um, touching ourselves, you know, all of these things start at such a young age and our parents, parents pass their shame on to them and their parents and our parents pass it on to us. And there's still so much of this lingering in our culture because we are so repressed and we um, are also existing in a pornified ideology of what sexuality, beauty and um, intimacy is. So, you know, but when I talk about the dark masculine, you know, people get like, what do you mean? Like, that's shameful. And, and like, it's the thing like that men want to cover up. And it's actually the most innocent, most beautiful form of sexuality. And so when I talk about the dark masculine, I'm talking about the dominant male, the man who wants to ravish the woman and kind of get her and you know penetrate her and what that actually is about from a spiritual and elevating standpoint rather than what it's about from what many men have come to feel shame about which is like you know rape culture or that's not what i'm talking about um but because men are programmed to think that that desire inside of them means they're bad and are, they're a rapist or that they're you know um taking something from a woman by force or they have to feel shame about that when we when i work with men we work in a very different way about connect with that's all about connecting their hearts with their penises and so a man's desire to penetrate a woman and to go even beyond what she says is it like that she can't handle the pleasure anymore is all about him unlocking her heart. And it's all about him penetrating her heart and unlocking her truth. Because men don't want to live in a lie with a woman. And the fact is a woman wants to be unlocked on that level. The biggest 
The biggest obstacle a woman will have with a man is accepting how much she wants to give her. Accepting that she's worthy and that she deserves all of that pleasure. And in sex, that becomes uh, a narrative that plays out. She's like, I cannot like go any deeper with how much pleasure I'm feeling, but yes, you can. And that's, and when it's done through this heart space, through love, it's infinite. That pleasure is infinite. And the man is literally unlocking the truth that the woman is love and that her love is infinite and her pleasure is infinite. And he's seeking to constantly create more and more space and to unlock that more and more deeply. And there, my friend, is where the orgasm is, right? There is where the truth is, like art, that we can be our dark selves and share that depth in a safe space.